Older men. Most of the people that listen to my pathetic YouTube channel are older men. What does Titus, what does Paul say to Titus to encourage older men? But you must say these things that are consistent with sound teaching. Older men are to be level-headed, worthy of respect, sensible, sound in the faith, love, and endurance. So, can you guess where that's at in Titus? Can you guess which chapter? One of the things that's interesting about older men is that you do not usually describe older men as level-headed, maybe bitter and picky and whining. But here Paul is commanding people to to use the power of the Holy Spirit to be level-headed, worthy of respect. I worked with a guy here recently for about five months, months that was always demanding respect. I demand respect. That guy didn't respect me. That woman didn't respect me. And I left them both. His bitterness was that he treated everyone in the present with the same assumption of how his dad treated him. Horrible. And so his paper-thin, ego and paper-thin sensitivity was just that. The moment a butterfly would land on his shoulder of a problem or of a conflict, he would go nuts. And so when we noticed that at the very beginning, of the five months we said sir we've seen that you leave situations very easily would you at least give us as co-workers the opportunity to correct a problem that bothers you we said that to him five times and each time he was during the honeymoon oh yeah you're right oh, okay of course but here a couple days ago a butterfly that was too big for him landed on his shoulder and he flew away and was cursing and swearing and it was not level-headed it was not worthy of respect it was not sensible it was not sound it was not loving and it was definitely not filled with endurance and at his age his advanced age he probably won't change uh, he wanted to pound my face into the concrete. He was so mad, and it made no sense at all. My coworker went outside to his vehicle, thankfully, and I asked him more, and all he could say was that I had disrespected him. And so I thought of this verse. I thought of this, that it's worthy of respect. Now, there was all kinds of things this gentleman refused to do. He had problems of the almost exact same nature from where he used to live. And the court, the judge, had commanded him to fix those things 20 years ago. And he refused to do that. There was also things that we had asked him to do on the computer, and uh, he refused to learn those things. He just would not do it. So I'm not sure which uh, disrespect I had given him. I'm not sure which thing... Uh, had landed on his shoulder, it sure would have been nice to correct it. And I remember telling my coworker, I said, here's your chance. I said this to him twice. I said, here's your chance to tell our boss um, some areas where I need to grow up was what did I do to get him so upset? And all my coworker could do, both times I pushed him and asked him, I, he said, Adam, don't worry about it. He, he was an accident waiting to happen. Uh, you did nothing wrong. So that is your goal, older men. That is your goal, those who listen to this channel, those who give me thumbs up, those who look at themselves as Christians. You need to judge yourself this way. Older men are to be level-headed. Do you act like this man that couldn't handle a butterfly of problems on your shoulder? Do you fly off the handle? Do people that you live with, your grandchildren, 
your children, your wife, your neighbors, do they get nervous being around you because you're not level-headed, worthy of respect? Go out of your way to find out what those people think of you. Hey, grandson, uh, what are some problems that grandpa needs to fix? Hey, son, daughter, what are some things that have bothered you about me for your entire life? Wife, husband, what are some things that I am not worthy of and not sensible in? What are some things that I'm not loving in and that I give up too quickly without endurance? Ask these questions and they will tell you. And if you, they won't be honest with you because you've got them wrapped around your finger for fear because you're maybe some kind of commune like my son-in-law's dad has this commune in Utah that uh, I doubt they could tell him the truth. Then ask some enemy that you have. When you run into somebody that you know hates you, ask him those things. And they're going to obviously tell you some uh, incorrect things because they're looking for an excuse to to accuse you like their friend Satan. But if you ask an enemy those things, oftentimes they will tell you a jewel that you know is correct. Well, Father, in Jesus' name, encourage the folks that listen to this channel. Encourage them to see that Scripture is so helpful because in the rest of Titus, it goes on to older women, it goes on to young men, goes on to slaves. Yes, that controversial subject that is so easily answered in Scripture. But we'll get to that in another time. Lord, encourage people to find the list of things that would help them to grow so that they'd be fruitful in this present world instead of bitter and complaining and fly off the handle at the slightest temptation. In Jesus' name.